what we're talking about is the Grand Canal project. And we've already been through this map, so it shows you the, how we've broken the Grand Canal up. And what we've been doing is installing mini reefs to improve the water quality and try to get the habitat back. So we've been installing and lately we've been doing some repairs on the mini reefs. We've had a problem with one of the cables. We have one more to get fixed, but I think we're done pretty well with that. Um, I've updated the dock inventory. You'll be able to see what we've got installed. Uh, we're working on grant proposals and I'm gonna cover those in a minute. We had a meeting with the um, West Coast uh, Inland Navigational District on dredging the Grand Canal. We've got some problems at the mouth where the one side is 10 feet and the other side is about three or four feet. We also have problems um, it, with uh, sediment building up. And we're trying to improve with another connection to either the intercoastal or the water quality. That's why we went to the West Coast Inland uh, Navigation District. We're working now on digital tools through the grants to do the water science. And we're in investigating other things we could do, like these reef balls that work on, uh, again, building habitat. And then some other kinds of things like seawall applications. Um, somebody's got, um, needs to mute. Someone needs to mute. Um, aeration and storm water filtering is what we're going after too with the grants. So quickly, not gonna go through this whole thing. We're currently up to 113 mini reefs that are in the water at the moment. Might be a little more because some people are implementing them and I don't have the counts yet, but we're trying to take a good inventory. We have 10% right now, 84 homes, 10% have been installed. We're doing a great job in this, this area here, really building up. And believe it or not, getting a lot more in Palm Island too. So that's working in our advantage. Uh, our next install dates are going to be the end of May, early June. I'm already taking some orders for that. And I'll be checking with some of the neighborhoods to see if I can't get a focus on one of the neighborhoods coming up. All right, now we're going on to the fun part. We've been working on grant requests. I've got $500 from IBM Employee Volunteer Program. So any of you retirees from IBM, if you want to volunteer some hours, you, you'd get grant money that can come to our nonprofit. And there might be some others. General Motors might have it out there as well. So if I got anybody in big business, look and see if they can provide our volunteer grant program. And you can help us out and build this canal back up. Um, the Sarasota Bay Estuary has informed us that we have been down selected for our proposal. We're looking at 2,700 from them for an aeration system. That's to put some extra oxygen to improve the colonization around the mini reefs. And we're trying to get that going um, maybe is in the, in the summertime. Uh, Gulf Coast, we've gone after the Gulf Coast Community Foundation, their playbook. Uh, for improving water quality. And we've submitted an application for about $10,000. The focus of this application is on digital testing equipment. We've got volunteers that are gonna be doing our testing. We wanna make sure that we've got the kind of tools that will help everybody be consistent with um, the tests and be able to do them uh, quickly. So that's what we're looking for. And by the way, the tests we're doing are going to be the same for Anna Marie Island and also for Venice and for some of the other areas that are joining in this, um, in this quest to change our water. We've asked for a John boat and um, so it looks like it's accepted. I'm waiting for the next step. They, they really thought we had a good idea and they wanted to get behind us. Now we started the neighborhood grant and we had their meeting, a second meeting with them today. It looks like it's gonna be closer to $5,000. They want us to have half, we'll be support, supporting half of the money and it's gonna install more mini reefs. And what we're doing there is looking at a dead end canal with a storm drain to see if we can't double up or triple up on some of the reefs under the docks to improve the water quality and then do a better job around drains um, and, and taking some of the um, uh, uh, pollutants out. And we've got other canals near the one we selected. We're looking at somewhere around Commonwealth Lane, Commonwealth Place, and we'll compare to Venice and another Street Lotus in Venice in that area uh, to see if we can make a difference with what we're due. The quickly, here's what our, um, our uh, uh, aeration system looks like. Basically, we're putting in uh, under the mini reef some uh, extra oxygen, and we'll put them in a couple of areas, and then we'll compare to ones that have less and see what, what 
again, what it does with the colonization. So that's going to be our plan there. The other one we're doing with, uh, as I said, with um, uh, looking at the county is this one here where we're going to pick this road and put the mini reefs in. And we've been working with some of the people in here. Eric has been a very, very good, uh, uh, one of the residents has been very, very strong at promoting us. So that's, that's coming along pretty well. Now, all right, last one here is that looking at the grant for um, the actual, uh, uh, it's, um, Gulf Coast Community Foundation. And before I go there, I wanna say thank you to Michelle and Greg Olson. They gave us their little boat and it's perfect and we needed something. So uh, taking canals around a nine mile, uh, uh, I'm sorry, taking our kayaks around a nine mile canal can be pretty tiresome. So hopefully uh, by having a boat, we can do a little better job about getting around. And more importantly, when we go to take some of the samples, uh, leaning over, we won't fall out as often. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's gonna work better. So these are some of the tools we're looking at for, for um, doing our wet water measurements and science. And then also, um, as I said, we're looking at some storage devices we need for our data. All right, the, the next thing I'm gonna look at, uh, we reviewed um, some things with the um, West Coast Navigation District as I talked. We talked to them about the shoal at the mouth of the Grand Canal, how it was impeding the water flow. We talked to them also about the limited water flow and some of the other ends of the canal, the dead ends that need to flush more. And we talked about the, also water levels with sediment building up that's causing a problem or some of the residents. And then the two that you see with the check marks are the ones that we're working on, the dissolved oxygen and nitrate le levels and the water clarity and quality. Those are what are, we're doing with our, our other grants. So we talked to them about our approach for that. Now, what came out of that meeting, their feedback, there's a D mark. Um, in our waterway. This is the DMARC, the um, Gulf Coast, uh, I'm sorry, the West Coast Inland Navigational District has a responsibility for the water that is what they call public water. And the canal is considered to be private water area. The reason it's private is because there's no public destination within the canal that people would be coming in for. For example, there's no restaurant, there's no boat ramp, a public boat ramp, or a business that's actually located on the canal. Uh, I don't think that they'll look at the um, rental homes as a business, but I might try it. <laughs> um, okay, they suggested that we talk to the canal residents and consider uh, a special taxing district and taxes could then be allocated to dredge and do sediment removal. Boy, somebody's got something going on in the background. So if you would mute, I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, next step is Howard Burnham. We're going to the county next to talk about this problem, get from them some, some suggestions as to what we might do and perhaps some help to get some of this done. Uh, the limited water throw, flow uh, south and west uh, we want to see if we can look again at uh, some improvements. For example, this is a this water here is in fact salt water. It would be great if we could get it over to these canals. And you'll notice by this chart that the red dots are zero to three feet. So in these areas, you can actually barely get enough for your bathtub. Okay, in these areas. So it'd be great if we could get some additional flow from the Gulf that would feed these and help clean them out and flush. Um, so on the other side over here, we're having, we're also having some similar problems. We have our, our over here is our water treatment plant. And there was a pipe that went into the intercoastal. So again, another possibility. So we'll look at that. Um, we have uh, requested, oh, what we got back from them after they looked at all we did and thought we were doing a really good job. They really liked it. But the one request they asked for us to do is add to our data on the mini reefs an annual inspection date. Their concern is that we be stewards and make sure they're keeping track of the mini reefs. Their concern is that they would disappear or somehow break away from under the dock. Um, the way those mini reefs are tied up with stainless steel ropes, they're not gonna be able to pull away. 
So uh, that's one of the things we've got right now. So it, we'll probably lose the dock before we lose the mini reef. But we've gone ahead and updated our uh, one of our data sheets to have an annual inspection. We'll put a date. Well, the status is that it's air there. If it's not there, we'll figure out what the resolution was. They could have moved it. They could have gone someplace else. But we'll keep track of them. So we are tracking and being stewards of what we're putting in the water. So that went quick. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Is there any questions? <laughs> 